Alex, I'm gonna let you into a little secret today, all right? All right. This is a volley practice technique that I started coaching, I think about four years ago. Okay. And it really helps to get a feel of keeping the hands inside. Okay. Now, I don't know if other people do this, but this is something that I like to teach, right? So you're gonna actually not hold the volley grip from the bottom of the racket. You're gonna hold really high up on the grip. Have you ever done this before? Uh-uh. All right, so what this is gonna force you to do, it's obviously gonna shorten the racket. It's almost like using a junior racket, right? right? But it's gonna force you to keep your hands in front, and it's gonna be a lot easier to turn the wrist. I know last time we worked on volley technique, and step one was ready, step two was turn the wrist, right? So when you keep it in front, with this high grip position here, it's gonna really help focus on keeping the wrist in front of your body. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold in front, high grip position, go ahead and regular volley position, right? And now I'm gonna feed them to you, forehand and backhand, and you're gonna simply focus on just turning the wrist and catching it in front of you like that. Okay. Okay, and the same thing on backhand, keep both hands on. When you wanna let go, right at contact, you let go. All right. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, very easy, forehand and backhand, elbows in front. There we go. One, crossover. Two, up. Good, keep going. All right, hands in front. Good, just turn the wrist, turn the wrist. Good, wrist, perfect. Good. All right, now go ahead and take it halfway down on the grip. So where you were, it's just a couple inches lower, all right? We're gonna go 10 in a row like that. Here we go, hands in front. Good, keep it in front, on your wrist, good. Perfect, that's it. Last four. Awesome, three, good, one more. Great, all right, now go ahead and take it on the bottom, okay? And go, last 10. Good, two, nice, three, good. Good. Nice, step, nice. Awesome. And what this does is it really helps to get feel. So anytime you're warming up for a match, like with your double squat, I don't know if uh, opponent's actually gonna let you do this, <laughs> right? But like if you warm up with somebody else or like a friend, you know? Go ahead and start warming up like this. It's gonna really help to get the contact in front of you. Right. It's very easy to start off volleys taking the racket behind us like this. Even right. I have that tendency. So I know last time when we did the volley video, we didn't really talk too much about body posturing and split step. Right. right. So we talked more about on the form of getting the wrist turned and stepping right. into the volley. Right? And everything, yeah. yeah. So for now, right now where you are in your season, I think it would be a good time to start to work on the body posture. Okay? So obviously for split step, which is gonna happen on every stroke, right? You go ahead and spread the feet out a little bit, bend the knees and get the weight on the balls of your toes, right? Right, we know that one, right? Now for the volley, as soon as you do that, that should happen just before you recognize and you want to take your cross for the volley, right? right. So when your opponent makes contact for, for their shot, that's when you're gonna take the split because at that point, you're gonna know you gotta cross left or right. Okay. As soon as the ball leaves your strength, we're gonna know if it's four hand or back hand, right? Okay. So for the volley, right here, split step in front, knees bent, weight forward, and weight on the balls of the toes, right? And then from there, turn the wrist and cross, right? So let's do one together, we'll do forehand, all right? Show me your split first. Perfect, all right, let's do it again, ready? So we're gonna split and go to forehand, all right? Ready, split, and turn, forehand. Ah, we're cross over, yeah. Let's do it again, ready? All right, here we go, split, turn, cross. That's it, now backhand, split, turn, cross. That's it, good. All right, let's go ahead and do four repetitions on each side, so eight total, okay? okay. Ready, split, turn, one, come back, split, turn, two, that's it, turn, three, turn, four, split, go, five, split, six, again, seven, one more, and eight. That's exactly how we're gonna work this next drill, okay? All right. Eight balls side to side, forehand to backhand. Okay. I'm not gonna feed them too quick because I want you to really emphasize the split step, the turning of the wrist, and a good crossover step, All right. okay? So sets of eight. Ready, split, cross, good. Split, cross, that's it. Split, cross, good. Split, cross, excellent. Good, cross, good. There you go. Good. Awesome volley, man. All right, Alex, so I know you got some big matches coming up. What are some things you think you need to work on for, uh, for your volleys right now? Um, a lot of it's from my transition from the baseline to the net. Okay. 
Um, I have a tendency to keep, I don't know, I guess it's called like an Eastern on my forehand, I think that's what it's called, but yeah. And I have a tendency to forget the switch back to just a regular Continental as I'm pushing up. Gotcha, yeah. And yeah. so I'll get caught like this and get uh, fed a backhand and I'm just not ready for it. And yeah, so yeah. I gotta remember and keep that in mind keep the as I'm making the transition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's essentially from moving from your approach shot as you come forward. Right, right. To make that transition. So naturally, I'm trying to get even more spin on it when I'm approaching. Yep. So I'm trying to come over the ball. And then as I'm pushing forward, I forget to switch back. I just kind of keep that grip. Mm -hmm. And it messes me up when I get up there. So Okay. Um, one thing you can do after you hit the approach, whether it's forehand or backhand, is make sure that you get the left hand back up to ready position here, and that can help turn and get your right hand ready for continental. Right. So, so yeah, as soon as right. you hit your approach, you hit. As you're moving forward, get up to get the left hand up here, and that can transition a grip back to continental. Right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hands in front. Good. Two. Good. Nice cross there. Step. Good. Seven, one more. Eight. Good job. Yes. Takes a lot of mental focus to, to do it that way, huh? Yeah. Alright, we'll make it a little faster these next two sets. Go. One. Go. Two. Six. Three. Four. Cross. Very good. Keep going. Ten. Seven. Last one. Eight. Perfect. Last one here. Ready? One, good, go. Two, perfect. Three, four, good. Five, nice. Six, two more. Seven, last one, eight. Awesome job, man. Looks very clean.